Hi boys and girls, it's Pastor Suzanne in Alaska, and I have another exciting story from God's Word, the Bible today. And today we're going to learn about King David fights his son, and we learn about King Solomon, and we also learn that God's temple gets built. So if you're ready, we are going to get started. Our first story, David fights his son. King David had a son named Absalom. Absalom had long hair and he was very handsome. He was also very proud. He was so proud that he thought he should be king instead of his father. So Absalom got his many friends to call him their king. And then he led them to Jerusalem to kill his dad, King David. But King David and his men, they got out of Jerusalem just in time before Absalom arrived. Absalom and his army didn't give up. They chased King David and finally the two armies fought and God helped David's side win. But it was a sad day because 20,000 men died in that battle. And during their battle, Absalom rode his donkey under a tree and his long hair got caught in a tree branch and he was stuck and he couldn't get away. And one of David's generals came up to Absalom and he killed him, even though David had told him not to. When King David heard that his son was dead, he started to cry. Oh, Absalom, my son, my son, he cried. He was very, 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 very sad. There's Absalom. That's not the only son that King David had. He had another one. The years went by and King David grew old. And before he died, he made another one of his sons, Solomon, the new king. And he told Solomon, obey God and worship him with all of your heart. Solomon listened to his father and he was careful to do what was right. Well, one night God spoke to him and told him that he could have anything that he wanted. Solomon decided to ask God for wisdom. He wanted to always know what would help his people the most. Solomon's request pleased God so much, so God made him very rich as well as very wise. Well, one day, two women came to Solomon with a problem. Each said that she was the mother of the same baby. Well, this couldn't be true, but how could Solomon know who was telling the truth? Solomon told his soldiers, cut the baby into two pieces and give half to each woman. Well, one of the women said, yes, cut the baby in half. But the other woman cried out, don't kill him, give her the child. For she loved her baby very much and didn't want him to die. And then wise King Solomon said, give the baby to the woman who wants him to live because she is his mother. He was very, very wise. There we have the two ladies and the baby. And last story, God's temple is built. God had given Solomon instructions to build a beautiful temple where the Israelites could worship God. So Solomon sent many men to cut down the best cedar trees for the wood to build it with. And he had the best workmen make so many beautiful things for the temple from gold and silver and bronze and iron and wood and from very expensive cloth. It took Solomon and his workmen seven long years to complete the temple. The walls inside were covered with gold and so was the floor and there were beautiful carvings and jewels in many places. There also was a special inner room called the Most Holy Place. Can you say that? The most holy place. And that's where the Ark of the Covenant was to be kept. Because remember, David brought the Ark back and he put it in a special tent. But now it had its forever home in the temple. And that's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful temple. Those were pretty exciting stories, weren't they? So we know from Absalom that we shouldn't be proud 
And we shouldn't plot against our family. We should always be honorable to our parents and we should always obey God. And we learned that wisdom is a good thing to ask from God and it pleases his heart. And when he, you please his heart, then he gives you the desires of your heart. And then we learned that God finally got a temple to put his Ark of the Covenant in so that his most holy place would be secure. But you know what? We now are the temples of God and because Holy Spirit dwells within us. That's even better than a temple, right? Right. I want to pray with us right now. So, Father, I thank you for the stories that we have in the Word of God that we can learn so many lessons about you and about ourselves. And we ask that these words would be more than just stories, but they would come alive for the boys and girls that hear it, and they would learn the truths about who you are and what you have called them to be. So we would ask that you would watch over them, protect them, keep them safe, keep them healthy, and most importantly, help them to keep you in their heart forever. We love you, Jesus, and we love these boys and girls, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed our stories today. Until next time, we'll be back with some more really exciting stories from God's Word, the Bible. So be good. God bless you. God loves you. I love you. This is Pastor Suzanne in Alaska saying bye-bye. Bye-bye.